Today I want to talk about sensitivity. Sensitivity is something a lot of people debate over and it's because no one really knows the exact sensitivity that someone should use. The general consensus though is that higher sensitivities are for higher level players and lower sensitivities for lower level players. I feel like this could discourage someone from trying a higher sensitivity where it could benefit them. Before I say anything, I do want to say that you should use whatever sensitivity you're comfortable with. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I will say that once I started getting used to 10 sensitivity, I found that I'm a much more effective in the arena and war zone. If you're watching this video, I think you should try a higher sensitivity or even 10 because who knows, you might like it. This video is for the Halo fans out there that want to make the switch to 10 sensitivity. I recently did this myself out of curiosity and I'm going to give you some tips to make the process a lot easier. Step one is don't play for a couple days. You want to get away from Halo, make your brain forget what sensitivity you normally use. A lot of sensitivity is muscle memory, and if you can kill that by stopping playing for a while, then you're going to be better off. I didn't play for about two to three days before I started, and this includes all games, Halo, Fallout, Call of Duty, whatever you play. This will help your brain kind of forget whatever your sensitivity looks like. So when you hop on and you start playing with 10, your brain can relearn it a lot easier because it's not used to that old sensitivity. I also found that while I was taking a break, watching videos of players with high sensitivity do awesome snipes or even battle rifle kills helped me a lot when I came back because my brain was kind of learning what that sensitivity looked like. I recommend watching videos from Office Hyena He's a really high skilled Halo player that uses 10 sensitivity and has some really nice snipes. I'll link his channel in the description. I went from 4 straight to 10 and this is something you want to remember. When you're switching your sensitivity you don't want to step up. I shouldn't have gone from 4 to 6 to 8 to 10. Not because this isn't effective. I can't speak to that. I didn't do this. I jumped right in. But this takes way too long. It'll take you at least 10 games to get your brain used to all those different sensitivities. And when you're playing at a higher sensitivity you generally tend to do worse. So why would you make yourself do really bad for 40 games when you can only do bad for 10? Once you're ready to test out your new sensitivity, what you want to do is go into a crazy custom game like I have here. What it's called is Break SWAT or something like that. I don't know, I was playing with a lobby with some of my friends and it's really quick SWAT with DMRs and it really let me hone my sensitivity. We played a cute few games of it and I felt really, really comfortable after just a couple. Remember what I said before, adjusting your sensitivity just comes down to getting that muscle memory down. Don't get discouraged when you hop into a match and do really poorly. This is very, very common. This is one of the reasons that I suggest custom games when you're first learning. Someone in the comment section is going to ask about the campaign and using that to adjust your sensitivity, but that just doesn't give the same pace that the arena will give you. If you don't have access to the amount of people you need for a custom game, you can go into Big Team Battle or Warzone and get a similar effect. There's a lot of enemies in here, so that means there's a lot of people to shoot at, and you can generally learn pretty quickly. If you need more people on your friends list, you can go down to the description and click on the Notable Company. That's my own Spartan company, and there's almost 100 members at this point. It's a great way to meet new people, and the custom lobby you saw before had all of those members inside of it. Learning a new sensitivity can be difficult, but if you follow the tips and tricks that I detailed in this video, you can find that it's not that hard. If you have any questions, as always, please comment down below. I reply to every single comment that gets posted to my channel, and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps my videos to show up first in the searches. And as always, thanks for watching.